Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be taking a look at Bodhi Linux version 5. And Bodhi Linux comes with the Moksha desktop, which is a fork of the old Enlightenment desktop. An Enlightenment desktop was a bit of an unusual specimen really, because it was very pretty, but very lightweight. I would say perhaps prettier than the KDE desktop, and light as the LXD desktop. <laughs> yes, a very rare specimen indeed. The Bodhi team forked it to the Moksha desktop simply because Enlightenment kept changing all the time and making it too much work for their themings to change and adapt. I do perhaps think they've been a bit understaffed this time around, and starting with a look at the release page, we will see the change log. So for those looking for a lengthy change log between the 4.5 release and the 5.0.0, you will not find one. We have been happy with what the Moksha desktop has provided for some time now. This new major release simply serves to bring the modern look and updated Ubuntu Core 1804 to the lightning fast desktop you have come to expect from Bodhi Linux. So yeah, <laughs> that is some change log really. We've just updated the core of the OS to Ubuntu 1804. And from what I'm reading, it is not compatible to simply upgrade from the old 1604 core. Yeah, they do not support in-place upgrades between the major releases, so you have to reinstall. And they do offer a few different images, three different images to be precise. Standard, legacy, and app pack. So the standard is the 64-bit version, legacy is a 32-bit version, but it does not include support for the PAE, the physical address extension. So it will be limited to, I'm thinking whatever 32 bit of memory provided, so that was about three gig. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've had to think about that. And they've also provided a release called App Pack, which is very minimal. So they're not taking advantage of the minimal installer option in the Ubuntu install. Well, here is Bodhi Linux in all its glory. I have made one little adjustment here that I've swapped the standard application menu for the Everything Starter. The Everything Starter provides a searcher. So I could launch applications from here. <laughs> Although perhaps it's not fair to launch an application just yet. Well, it's a good thing I didn't actually launch it. So anyway, let's go across the terminal and I'm gonna take a look at the memory usage using my favorite command, the 3-m command. And we can see that a grand total of 190 meg of RAM is in use at system boot up. <laughs> well, I wasn't joking when I said it was about as light as the LXD desktop. In fact, perhaps I was mistaken there in that it is lighter than the LXD desktop. That is a lower memory usage than Lubuntu. We have the Linux 4.15 kernel. I didn't mean to repeat the uname-a command. I meant to type was LSB release, and we can see that it is based on Ubuntu 18.04, the Bionic Beaver release. The number of options in Bodhi 5 seems very limited compared to what it used to be. I remember all sorts of different options on how to choose a standard layout on the desktop, so you could switch between different look and feel, so like notebook, laptop, standard desktop. That option is missing, but on the other hand what I am seeing is that it is a lot simpler to use nowadays. Can anyone really complain about this standard look and feel for a desktop? You have an application launcher on the bottom left hand side, you've got a task switcher, you've got your shortcuts to common applications, you've got a desktop switcher, time, date and calendar, shutdown, volume control and the last items I have in the copy and paste clipboard. Left clicking on desktop brings up an application launcher, split out into various different categories. Looking further at the settings on the Moksha desktop, but it came with a few different themes pre-installed. But I added a few additional ones which are available in the repositories that Bodhi Linux have added. Oh, the Moksha Pink. Perhaps that's a theme suitable for Miss Quids. Maybe she would enjoy that one. Thinking of one of the very pink looking Linux distributions she reviewed a while back. But let's put it back to something more sensible. Moksha Arc Green. Yeah, I'll leave it here. I remember in older versions of Bodhi Linux, they provided you links to applications you might like to install through their website, but it linked to installing through the app's package manager. Can't see that feature anymore. Seems to have gone. Anyway, going back to the settings of the Moksha desktop, you can add shelves, which are like panels, so that what I would call a panel at the bottom of the screen is in fact called a shelf. You can adjust the contents of it through various modules, which are pre-installed in your operating system. And you've got standard settings of choosing position and whether applications can show through it or sit above it. 
and you can adjust the height, shrink the contents to the width, shrink the shelf to the size of the contents. So if we're going to add a new shelf, default position is on the left hand side. I can add some contents to it as the default application launcher is the start launcher. There you are, that gives you a chance to look at it. So if I don't want the shelf anymore, I can just go and delete it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, modules, that just seems to be standard things, clipboard clock, um, some other items under system that may be useful, a battery if you're a laptop user, and the option to turn desktop icons on or off, and this quick access launcher that was setting up system shortcuts. Yeah, it seems to be quite a flexible desktop for its uh, small memory footprint. And I do like its responsiveness, it is very fast and responsive. But yeah, I would expect that because it is very lightweight. And we're opening up a lightweight browser here of Midori. The number of pre-installed applications is very sparse. I could flick through it on the screen here and yeah, that's it. I don't need to read anything out. Let's see what it's like at opening up LibreOffice for the first time. Yeah, reasonably fast there. Perhaps it'll be quicker on the second time of opening. Well, I'll go for calc instead. Don't know, not much in it really, but either way, that's still pretty quick. Anyway, let's look at Bodhi Linux version 5. I can't help but feel slightly disappointed from remembering what it used to be like and all the extra features it seemed to have. But on the other hand, perhaps I appreciate the simplicity. But anyone looking at Bodhi Linux for the first time now wouldn't have any idea of what it used to be like and could perhaps just appreciate it for what it is in that it is a very lightweight, fast, fancy looking operating system. And in that area it is pretty much unrivalled. The other fancy looking desktops in Linux, like KDE and Cinnamon, are much more bulkier on memory usage. Anyway, that was a look at Bodhi Linux version 5. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.